There are parallel universes out there where this didn't happen. Parallel universes. If you are a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you must have heard about this term already. Just the thought of a parallel universe could spark our crazy imaginations. People could be transported from one to the other, enabling us to live in a universe that's presumably better than our own. Does that sound too good to be true? Well, last year there was a lot of media coverage on a NASA scientist detecting a parallel universe. Scientists say that they've detected a universe, a parallel universe, that unlike ours, moves backwards in time. It may sound like an episode of The Twilight Zone, but NASA scientists say they have detected a parallel universe that exists. And in general, this is what they claim. At the moment of the Big Bang, two universes were formed. Ours, and another one that from our perspective is running in reverse. I don't want to blame you if this sounds straight out of a sci-fi movie. So let's ask the question. Is it true that there is a parallel universe where time runs backward? Well, today we're going to explore that and beyond. Let's take a look at the concept of parallel universes a little bit closer. From a physics point of view, parallel universes are one of those intriguing ideas that sounds imaginative but very difficult to test. This concept of parallel universes arises in physics from the idea of the multiverse. We've covered this topic in great details in this video, so make sure to check it out. According to the cyclic model of the universe, the Big Bang itself was in the very beginning. It was a very different phase of the universe that occurred previously to set up and give rise to the Big Bang. This is called cosmological inflation. When and where inflation ends, a Big Bang occurs. But what is even the point of talking about this? After all, we're stuck in our own universe, and maybe there's no way to test this idea about parallel universes, because in all the experiments that scientists have ever performed, they've never found any strange interactions that require something outside the governing physics to explain. For example, particles don't simply appear, disappear, or transform. They can only interact with other quanta of matter and energy. We live in a universe that is being governed by the law of physics. So every interaction of particles must be uniformly governed by the same law. And you might be wondering why I bring this up. Well, there is actually a link between this example and the media hype on the evidence of the parallel universes. So let's get to it. It appears that a claim about the evidence of parallel universes started from an article posted by New Scientists. Their headline was, we may have spotted a parallel universe going backwards in time. In all fairness, the post is backed up by a thought-provoking article about some puzzling results from an experiment conducted in Antarctica. So before we go any deeper, let's first understand how the whole experiment works. The Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA, conducted a long-term helium balloon experiment. It is designed to detect radio signals generated by ultra-high energy neutrinos and cosmic rays. This helium balloon is flying over Antarctica at the height of 37,000 meters. Neutrinos, which are subatomic particles similar to electrons, have no electrical charge and sometimes considered massless. These particles are abundant in the universe and they are very hard to detect. Even now, scientists have estimated that millions of neutrinos are passing through every centimeter square of our skin without leaving any clue. The main source of neutrinos are stars and in our case, it's the sun. But when a very high energy neutrino particle passes through matter, they do interact with the matter and their interaction generates radio waves. If we can detect these radio waves, we can tell what kind of neutrino interaction it was. And through the direction of those radio waves, we can find from where those neutrinos were coming from. In 2016, Anita made a very strange discovery. Usually when neutrinos are detected, they come from outer space because that is where the source lies. But during Anita's flight in 2016, it detected neutrinos that were not coming from space. Instead, it was coming from Earth. Let me make this clear for you. A neutrino can pass through Earth without interacting with it. But when it comes to high energy neutrinos, they do interact with matter. During their collision with atoms, they produce some particles and radio waves. So if highly energetic neutrinos do pass through the Earth, they would interact with the Earth and generate radio waves. But the problem was that ANITA couldn't detect those radio waves. 
In Antarctica, where the ANITA experiment is being performed, there is also another experimental setup that can detect neutrinos coming from Earth. This experimental setup is known as Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, run by CERN. If some high-energy neutrinos pass through the Earth, they can be detected through this observatory. But during ANITA's detection of these neutrinos, the ground-based experimental setup didn't detect any of these. This is impossible as far as scientists think, but the helium balloon did this. So how can some neutrinos pass through the Earth and reach ANITA without being noticed by the Ice Cube Observatory? Even if we ignore this, then one of the possibilities was that there is some neutrino source on the other side of the Earth, and it could be that these neutrinos came from that source. But as per scientists, this hypothesis doesn't hold true, because there's no known source that can emit lots of high-energy neutrinos which can pass through the Earth and can be detected through ANITA. It puzzled scientists. Our current understanding of the universe is not able to explain this weird phenomenon yet. So, we need to introduce some new physics in order to explain this. One of the possible explanations published in New Scientist caught attention worldwide. According to them, explaining this signal requires the existence of a topsy-turvy universe created in the same Big Bang as our own and existing in parallel with it. In this mirror world, positive is negative, the left is right, and time runs backward. If that kind of universe does exist, which is dominated by antimatter and is somehow connected to ours, that behavior of neutrinos can be explained as moving backward in time. But when scientists check out all the data and did some math on it, it made the least plausible explanation for the strange behavior of neutrinos. Now, coming towards the media headlines. As new scientists published their article, many tabloids wrote similar stories and claimed that NASA has discovered a parallel universe or that NASA has found evidence for a parallel universe where time runs backward. In science, when an experiment is performed, and if the results of the experiment are impossible for the standard model of particle physics, scientists realize that there is a need to discover new scientific theory to explain that phenomenon. So, the new hypotheses are put forward, and in this case, it matches the data from the ANITA experiment. As for the hypothesis about the existence of a parallel universe, it didn't match the data at all. The scientific community didn't take it seriously and left it out. But for the media, it's a different story. After all, this is the type of news that makes the best headlines. This next one is a good one. After the New York Post published their article, one of the authors on a research paper about the experiment in Antarctica wrote a tweet. NASA has discovered that you all shouldn't be getting your news from the New York Post. Looking at the bigger picture, I'd like to think of this whole story from another point of view. The problems facing the picture of our universe are not limited to what humans can perceive. The advancement of science, our mind, and our thinking condition the way we explore the universe. And because of this, maybe we have some kind of blind spots for the cosmic phenomena that run counter to human intuition and understanding. As Neil deGrasse Tyson said, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Well, the idea of a parallel universe is super exciting. However, in this scenario, no, we haven't found any parallel universes. So for now, based on the scientific evidence that we have, parallel universes will have to remain a science fiction dream. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Harry and I'm so glad you made it to the end. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. If you want to, follow us on Instagram at beyondideas. I'll see you again next week for more curiosity videos. Bye-bye.